Hi friends, welcome to JS Online Academy. Today we are going to discuss about the fifth problem of exercise 5.3. Let us observe the question. In a class says, the sum of the A, Monica's marks in mathematics and English is 30. If she got two marks more in mathematics and three marks less in English, the product of her marks would have been 210. Would have been 210. Find her marks in two subjects. Firstly, you should understand that the sum of the marks of uh, Monica's in maths and English is 30. That means marks obtained in the maths plus marks obtained in English is 30. That means maths plus English maths is equal to 30 marks. So, if you suppose, that means like she got x marks in the maths x be the marks of maths so this equation in this equation you can substitute x x plus english marks is equal to 30 from this you can get marks obtained in english is 30 minus x then afterwards you should understand that one more important phrase in the question if she got two marks, if she got two marks more in in maths, see, firstly, how many marks that she got we supposed in the maths? That is x. We suppose maths marks are the x. Then what would be the marks if she got two marks in the more, more marks in the maths means if if she got two marks uh, more in the maths means that marks would be x plus two. Then three marks less. In English that means if she get three marks less in English that means firstly what uh, what do, how many marks that she got in the English that is X minus sorry 30 minus X then three marks less than the this three marks less than this means what from this we have to subtract three that means this can be written as 27 minus X that means if she get two marks more in mass her mass marks becomes X plus two 3 marks less in English, her English marks becomes a 27 minus 6. Then the product of these two marks would be 210. Product of these two marks means what? That means on multiplying these two, that means x plus 2 into 27 minus x is equal to 210. So this is a required equation that we have to write. Okay. So now and simplifying this or uh, the roots of this quadratic equation is the uh, solutions of the word answer so let us apply distributive property x into 27 this can be written as 27 x then x into my x into minus x that is minus x square then 2 into 27 plus 2 into 27 that is plus 54 and plus into max plus 2 into minus x that means minus 2x is equal to 210 now this can be written as minus x square and 27x minus 2x that is nothing but plus 25x plus 50, 54 is equal to 210 transport this constant term to other hand of the equation so that it can be written as x square plus 25x plus 54 minus 210 as it passes to term if it transferred to other hand it gets a negative now this can be written as minus x square plus 25x and plus 54 minus 210 then that gives you minus 156 is equal to 0 as it is a negative term on taking negative on common when taking negative common in this so this can be written as minus of x square plus is a minus 25x and negative term is a so it becomes a positive is equal to 0 then and transporting this negative to the other hand it becomes a 0 then this can be written as x square x square minus 25x plus 156 is equal to 0 now let us try to factorize of this 
quadratic equation. So, to factorize this quadratic equation, once we have to observe the constant term as a harmonic quadratic equation. So, we have to factorize the constant term. What is the constant term that we have? That is 156. We have to write this 156 as a product of two terms or else two numbers whose sum gives you minus 25. Whose sum gives you minus 25. So, this 156 can be factorized as 12 into 13 gives you 156. But uh, we should get the past two number. So both we have to take a negative. Why? Well, because and taking negativity for two terms, then and adding them you get a minus 25. That means minus 12 plus of minus 13 gives you minus 25. So this minus 25x I am going to write as a sum of two terms that is x square minus 12x minus 13x plus 156 is equal to 0. Uh, now we got uh, four terms in it. So in this four terms I am taking first two terms as one group and second two terms are one group. From the first group we can take x as a common so that it can be written as x of x minus 2. From the second group we can take um, minus 13 as a common. On taking minus 13 as a common, first term should be having x, then plus is there as I have taken minus as a common, it, it gets negative. Then 156 we have written as 12, 13 that. So in that 13 as I have taken up, so 12 will be left here. Now on observing this, again we can take x minus 12 as a common. So on taking x minus 12 as a common, this can be written as x minus 12 of x minus 13 is equal to 0. Now as product of two terms is 0, then definitely any one of us will be 0. That means either x minus 12 is equal to 0 or x minus 13 is equal to 0. Then from this x is equal to 12 we get and from this we get x is equal to 13. Now here if x is equal to 12, if x is equal to 12 then how many marks that she got in maths? What is the marks of 10 in maths as a x that is 12. Then English marks how many how many marks she got in English that is 30 minus 12 that is nothing but 30 minus 12 nothing but 18. If uh, x is equal to 13 if x is equal to 13 then maths marks becomes 13 then english marks becomes what 30 minus 13 that is 70 these are the solutions of this quadratic equation thank you friends for watching this video